in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. One of those profound revelations is our salvation. Imagine if everybody had to die on the cross. Jesus said, all right, I've done it for you. You saw exactly how I did it. Everybody get a carpenter, be on your way to any mountain around your area and die. There would probably be less than 100 people who will be saved by now. Because nobody will want to die. Yet he did the dying. And then he got up as a conqueror and came to you. You do not qualify. It should never be for you. You are saved by grace. And that works even not of yours. It is of God. And no one, there's no boasting there. And he gave you his life. And you simply received it by faith. And it was credited to you in the realm of the spirit that when he died, you died too. It's not just that he died and you received his life. It's that both of you too died. Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's not just that he died and gave me life. I also died with him. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. you look beyond me, oh. and you look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. you look beyond me, oh. I'm the one that you have shown. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Do you know the advantage of being planted in the house of God where the power and the grace of God is at work? It is a system of advantage provided for you so that while you grow, God knows that it takes time to grow. Let me tell you the truth. It takes time to be born again. It takes time to learn. It takes time to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It takes time to begin to learn the ways of God. While that is happening, if the realm of the Spirit and if God depended on your personal spiritual life, you may die before you come to know your rights in Christ and walk in authority. So in the interim, he places systems of advantage. One of it is the power of prophetic covering that you can come under the covering and the grace the blood that was put on the lintel, they didn't put the blood on everybody's head. Even if you were somebody in unbelief, once you were in a house where there was blood upon the lintel, the angel of death will pass. It was not about everybody's, the, the personal fate of the individual. As for me and my house, there are times that your grace can cover the house. There are many of you, I submit to you, there are many blessings you have received today that may not necessarily be a reflection of your prayer life, your spiritual life, but certain intercessions have happened for you and you come into that inheritance because you see, when the realm of the spirit is distributing the advantage, it distributes to everyone who is part of that fold. This is true. Remember the example I gave you some time ago that when you stand to take a shower, do you have to lift your leg to touch the shower? The leg does not have to be worried. All you need to do is just stand in front of the shower. For a while it will look like it's only the head that is enjoying the water. But every part of that body will receive sufficient water 
as far as your bathing is concerned that's how it is it may start from the head if the leg decides to go and wait at the door then that leg will not experience that process of bathing it is dangerous especially in this end time to alienate yourself from the grace and that that corporate covering is a risk and I hope you know that proximity is not the same as connection no you can be close to an anointing you can be in, within a house like this and yes not have anything happen to you look at Elisha he was very wise he said where is the Lord God of Elijah as one who had already carried the double portion he recognized God and he recognized Elijah and the Red Sea parted the Jordan parted hallelujah you are reaping where you bestowed no labor others have labored but with understanding you can step into the harvest please hear me this is why you see if you are genuinely part of this ministry my heart bleeds if there are certain graces that you don't carry in your life they, believe me this is not pride there are some graces and some dimensions of God's power that should never be a struggle for your spiritual life while you grow to step into that realm in experience there is already a portal that has been opened through sacrifice and if you have the understanding you can step on it do you believe what I'm saying you're part of this vision and men do not arise to help you you don't experience the favor of God the presence of God is a struggle no something is wrong we don't claim to have everything but there are some things he has given and for someone God brought you here to tell you you are your family members you are struggling this is unnecessary it's unnecessary you cannot come to an oasis where there's water and then you are struggling and begging and crying for water it ought not to be so they came to the one who supplies bread he multiplied bread and gave everybody they ate and ate and didn't know what to do there were five loaves and two fish I mean um, uh, 12 baskets left there are certain graces that should be at work in your life in this house you see everybody rejecting you nobody opening up doors for you you cry and there's nobody helping you you are rejecting the investment of the spirit you are also rejecting the possibilities that reside within this place is someone learning we also give that which we have received not every grace you see here just came as a result of personal encounters out of the abundance of that which we have received from the fathers that is speaking it must speak in your life too in the name of Jesus Christ you're a man of God connected to this vision it's not about size or whatever but you should not be small he said I will glorify them they will not be small I will multiply them they will not be few it's a grace have you accessed the hear ye him anointing have you accessed the grace for favor what is it about the house rents that God cannot arise and wipe your tears? Yes, you are learning, but can you not come under that grace? It's more than money. How about the manifestation of the presence of God? How about your prayer life? Apostle, I'm struggling with prayer. I don't know that grace is not there. Then there is something you are not maximizing. There is a grace in abundance that if you can open up your heart, And you receive with power and receive with grace please hear me we are in the days of his power where the nations need to see Jesus revealed through the display of the multifaceted dimension of God's power God is counting on you ladies and gentlemen God is counting on me it thank God for all the people we keep talking about in history but they have gone they have joined the cloud of witnesses right now God is counting on us and in the name of Jesus we will not fail God 
in the name of Jesus you will not fail your family in the name of Jesus you will not fail this nation the days of his power where we will start hearing that someone came out of here and while he was on his way going somewhere something just happened to someone and they said the baby is dead and you stand and say in the name of Jesus as a child of God who has been taught I decree and declare that baby come back to life now and the baby jacks back to life and everybody within that territory the parents the families are we together that you go home and there's one church just close to your house and they say dear brother um, can you just come and share and just tell us something about the love of Jesus and you don't sit and say well I'm not really in ministry you know we are not this thing about revelation it's not all of us that have it no. it's an indictment on the spiritual investment upon your person that you enter that church knowing that God does not call the qualified but he qualifies the called. you stand being that you have been instant in season and out of season knowing that you are not alone and the Lord walking with them confirming the words with signs and wonders the opening of your mouth becomes deliverance for people and the grace of God sweeps over that assembly soul saved lives healed and changed and transformed There are some of you here, there are businesses that will call you and say, come and be part of us. Not by adding any value, become like the ark of God in the business, in the name of Jesus Christ. That people will call you and say, listen, this is, we are a group of business people. We have discerned that you carry an unusual grace for favor. And we want that grace to be at work in us. Come and be part of this business. What is my role in this business? Nothing. Just pray and speak for our welfare. That the list becomes as David. Please let me tell you this before we round up. Everything that has made you feel you are not up to. Everything that has made you feel it is not for people like you. I want you to reject it tonight in the name of Jesus. It is true that is, there is room for growth and there are levels in the spirit. But can I assure you, cast not away your confidence, my dear people. It has a great recompense of reward. Therefore, I cast every spirit that has kept you to make you feel that you are not capable. Maybe some of you in ministry, I cannot speak well. Maybe I cannot sing well. Every spirit that has brought you down, demeaning and downplaying the investment of God in your life, you are afraid of laying hands on the sick because you are afraid of embarrassment. I curse that spirit right now in Jesus' name. Hear me? Some of you, this spirit may have come as a result of mindsets you have received from people and from situations that have downplayed and demeaned you they make it look like it's not for people like you. You are very weak people. You are very this and that. You don't have to argue with anyone. But I want you to stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free. And do not allow anyone or anything rest in the love of God. I may not look like what you want, but he loves me. And that is the most important thing. If God has loved you and has approved you, then that is it. Don't get into this, especially this our world today of bending into all kinds of things and become a victim of people's emotion. Rest in the confidence that you are loved, you are chosen. Hallelujah. I believe in Jesus, but let me tell you sincerely, I believe in myself too. Ah, I believe in myself. In the name of Jesus. I'll be lying if I tell you I don't. Mm -mm. I believe in Jesus. But this man standing before you, I believe in myself. My only limit in life is the voice of God and the law of process. I don't see limitations in front of me. Truly, this is my mindset. If God sends me to any nation, as I go to that nation, I don't go there wondering 
what kind of demons are in that place will the people listen no. there is a level of confidence not pride that you need to have to know that you can be trusted God can trust you man of God as we are wrapping up the Lord is speaking to you God believes in you even Satan is afraid of you but you have refused to believe in yourself crying for the approval of men as the basis of your confidence that is a big mistake you are making with your life you need to believe in Jesus and you need to believe in yourself believe in yourself believe that you are loved believe that you are part of the fold of God please hear me believe that God loves you and believe that he has a great plan for you that when God is talking about the mighty army don't exclude yourself don't use any kind of sentiment age background whatever it is physical mundane parameters uh -uh. there is none of us that is ever qualified enough based on the credentials of the flesh to be used by God but since he has drawn us by his mercy we come running with joy and gratitude and confidence he can send us to any nation and we will go he can tell us to take the globe and we will go there is no fear if you are afraid there are many things you will not do in your life you will be whipping up and attracting sympathy from people there are some of you is fear that has stopped you from building that house till today you have the land you have everything to start fear what will people say God must grant someone grace for somebody you should leave this meeting now and by tomorrow if somebody tells you I'm sick tell him in the name of Jesus can I pray for you I have been trained I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed apostle what happens is the person is not healed you do collect money no you get into trouble when you collect that if you if you collect money Are we together someone comes and tells you do you know every door is closed how can I reach apostle and you tell him well you may not be able to reach apostle but do you believe that I will stand and agree with you huh. and while you are saying that the spirit of grace is ready for you to speak and you say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead and whew, a miracle happens to that person the next time they see you, they say, Pastor. He said, no, 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 I'm a banker. I said, that's none of my business. It is the dimension of you that minister to me that I will call. The Bible said they will call you ministers of our God. There are many of you, God is about to give you a new name. Yeah. By reason of the mighty things that he's doing in and through your life. A new name. A new name some of you will sing and worship and sing to the nations and just one song that God gives you will go across the globe blessing and healing and lifting people hallelujah that that reminds me come David Dam, when is your your worship program I just I just remembered I just remembered we pray for you this is a son in the house and make sure you support him and pray for him when is it 19th let's pray for him it's not about concert it's not a time of jamboree this is a worship time you can go and stand there you can go and, and be part of it get more information from him father in Jesus name we pray for Dave that he will sing the praises of Jesus to the nations we pray for this worship experience coming Lord anoint him like never before anoint the worship team like never before anoint all the organizers like never before let no flesh be glorified in your presence Lord I pray that as he lifts up your name you will respond to his needs you will increase him I use him as a point of contact to pray for the entire worship team Lord is a new season for them Oh, you will take these precious people to the nations 
they will sing your praises across the length and the breadth of the nations bringing revival bringing hope healing and life to many in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen God bless you I just thought to do this hallelujah so encouraging some of you after service the Lord may lay it in your heart just to drop a seed and bless him why not encourage him encourage him we believe in our people and will invest in our people as God grants grace hallelujah and don't come and say we should pray for you when you are not prepared let me just say it now because believers are masters of 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 do your homework and come we will bless we can bless you for grace to do your homework that one I will do it even now but once you do your homework and come believe me we will not waste the influence God has given and when God lifts you make sure you don't forget him please don't bring shame to the Lord too many people have done it already let there be people who will stand even with crown, a crown on your head you can still let the nations know that he is king I think it's good for the night you can wrap up now stand on your feet please I want to pray one serious prayer over our lives and I want everybody to receive We need to be endued with power. Ladies and gentlemen, you are believers in Christ. And I want you to know that by reason of your being grafted into Christ, there are levels of power and grace your life should command. Power comes in levels. Grace is come in level, but you can receive. I want to pray and speak over your life. And I want you to truly receive from the depth of your heart. You will be surprised to see the kind of results you begin to command. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Every season of spiritual dryness, with no power, no manifestation of the word of God, you have come to Bethel, the house of God. I decree and declare, in higher dimension of spiritual power, may, may it rest upon you now. for signs and wonders like never before I release it upon you receive it now I release it upon you receive it now supernatural signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for intimacy the grace to spend time in his presence until you draw forth into your life the riches of heaven I impart that grace upon you I impart that grace upon you let me impart the grace for prayer there is the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to travel until you touch dimensions of spiritual reality receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus Every spiritual slumber, every spiritual lukewarmness, I declare be free from it right now. The capacity to understand scripture, high level spiritual illumination, I declare may your eyes be open, may your heart be open, may your mind be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The fortitude to comprehend spiritual reality. I decree and declare may that grace rest upon you. Hear me. For the things you need right now. That your spiritual level has not yet. Um, Based on your spiritual level, you may not seem to purchase those spiritual realities. I stand by the power of this apostolic and prophetic mantle. I still shift you to step into that level. I shift you to step into that level. 
levels of favor, levels of honor, levels of influence, levels of speed. Let me pray over your finances. Please receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I forbid your hands from being dry. I forbid your hands from being dry. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Favor from the north. Favor from the south. Favor from the east. Favor from the west. Step into prepared blessings. Hallelujah. Where you have been despised from tonight, I place a mantle of honor upon your head. Everything that has refused to grow in your life, I declare the grace that makes for multiplication and growth. Whether it's your work, whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, experience exponential growth. Finally, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. All the people who have been mandated to come and be blessed by your anointing, wherever they are, I decree and declare by divine coincidences, by the leadings of the Spirit, I send them to your life to be blessed. I send them to your church to be blessed. I send them to your organizations to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, from today I want you to carry this consciousness. I am a blessing. Say it please. One more time. Say I am a blessing. For the last time say I am a blessing. Reject anything that wants to make you look like you are a cause. Anybody who does not appreciate you for who you are, just leave them with their ignorance. But as far as you are concerned, I am a blessing. Say it in the morning, say it in the afternoon, say it in the evening. Whenever you go to work, you are not just an employee waiting for salary. I am a blessing. The power of God is at work in me. I am a blessing. A blessing to your husband, a blessing to your wife, a blessing to your children, a blessing by reason of being a doctor, a blessing by reason of being a man of God. I am not a curse. I don't bring pain. I don't bring regret. There is no regret around me. I am a blessing. In thee, says, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. When you carry the mentality you are a blessing, when people come to you in need, you don't just look at them and pity yourself. You are happy because if you cannot give them money, if you cannot give them counsel, don't forget you are anointed. Don't say I cannot do anything. They may ask you for money. They may be confused. But there is something you have. You can tell them, listen, I may not be able to give you any money here, but let me pray. That grace, let it work. Go. And they will think they just left until they return with fearful testimonies. Be a proof producer. Be a sign producer. Be a wonder producer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be a multiplier factor to the advancement of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's stand as I make the altar call. Jesus is calling someone right now. You heard what we said. You must be in Christ. The power that was released is for believers who are in Christ. And please hear me. You came to church tonight, young, old, whatever region you came from, and the Lord is calling you like this gentleman who is coming out right now. I'm going to make a call. It pays not only to serve Jesus, but to love him and to come. He's done everything. He's given his life literally for you.
you can choose to remain behind and say I don't care but the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice for some of you as you are coming out is the salvation of your family that is coming out for some of you as you are coming out it is an evangelist that is coming out an apostle in the making who is coming out I'm going to count one to five wherever you are I want you to run and come and stand right now as I make that call don't be ashamed don't be afraid it does not matter take your bags your Bible if you can and everything you came to church with and very quickly come to the front God bless you I begin my counting now let's honor them Koinonia one come home two come home you Come, let him give you a new beginning. Some of you, your coming today is a response to the prayers of many. Come, young and old, together. You are in all the overflows, you are outside. And for our global family, those who are connecting by way of the internet, Jesus is giving you an opportunity. For some, you are saying, I remember giving my life to Jesus, but I need to rededicate my life and to make things right. Join them very quickly. I'm about to pray. Join them. Join them. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. And the Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. You have come to Jesus. He is able to give you a new beginning. Please lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender to Jesus. And I'd like you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are joining them. Please come join them very quickly. We're about to pray. Say this loud and clear. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I love you with all my heart. And I need you in my life right now I receive Jesus as my Savior I receive Jesus as my Lord I receive Jesus as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever I am a child of God the righteousness of God and I go from glory to glory and grace to grace amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this precious precious people you have brought thank you for those who are following online making Jesus Lord of their lives thank you for those in all of the overflows you have done this to bring glory to your name this is what it's all about and Lord we thank you for bringing these ones to Jesus they have come I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that based on the integrity of your word and their confession we call them bona fide recipients of eternal life we declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life from tonight you walk in the newness of life and you go from glory to glory in Jesus matchless name I pray amen and amen may I please request that you follow the counselors they are waving the placard just a moment with you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor them very quickly please rise we're wrapping up draw me nearer nearer blessed Lord through the cross where We're fasting on Sunday on Sunday we'll be fasting children can break their fast from 12 
all our children they can break their fast from 12 pregnant women and those who have any medical condition don't worry we're fasting our fasting will cover for you in the name of jesus every other person let's see how god will help us because of koinonia we may just stretch anything from three you can break so you have the time to plan before you come when we are fasting as a ministry please make sure you are part of it i want you to look to our social media platforms for the prayer focus every time we're fasting we declare a fast there's usually a prayer focus to be able to guide you you can have some time to pray and then take advantage of the prayer focus and have the, the some time to just pray in the spirit prepare your heart is part of our spiritual growth process we believe in raising people a people of stature and a people of power may i encourage you to use this week let it be for you a week of spiritual emphasis take the time to get quality teachings and camp with the word of god study and pray build stamina in the spirit he says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting will appear unto all in the name of jesus christ for tonight i declare that you are blessed the hand of god is upon you you have come you return like jesus in the power of the spirit and the results will be evident before all men in the name of jesus may your hunger for spiritual things not diminish may honor and grace be multiplied upon your life for those of you traveling we declare that your journeys are blessed you go forth with joy and you are led forth with peace and now may the lord of peace himself grant you peace always and by all means we declare that there will be nothing missing and nothing broken in your life you are blessed you remain ever blessed for in the mighty and matchless name of jesus hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.